Hi, this is Tim with smallscalerc.com and rcnoob.com, and we are going to do a post unboxing uh, look at a vehicle that I, I got as a review from gearbest.com. Um, if you're familiar with the RC Noob YouTube channel and website, you'll know that we reviewed the um, Fox S911 earlier in the summer from GearBest.com. It was a review unit, and they were kind enough, the folks at GearBest were kind enough to send me another review unit. This time, this is the WL Toys K989 128th scale rally car. And there it is. It's a, dare I say, cute little car, cute little vehicle. Um, from what I've seen so far, it's very well put together. Uh, we're going to take the lid off of it and take a closer look at the inner workings of it. Um, when I opened the box up, it was missing a body pin. So hopefully that doesn't affect too much of my driving and bashing and testing with this vehicle. Um, what's in the box? Well, as you can see, we've already taken it out of the box. Um, my youngest son saw that I got an RC car in the mail and wanted to open it up and check it out before he went to bed, so that's what we did. Uh, in the box, you're going to get your basics. You know, this is your car, the controller, which is very, very large. And I have to say, um, given the price of this vehicle and the price of the other vehicle from GearBest that I tested out, the remotes may be the most comfortable that I've ever held. Um, again, aside from the price notwithstanding, you know, very they feel very, very well in your hand. But it's a huge remote compared to the size of the vehicle. But uh, those are just two of the things that you get in the box. The other thing that you get in the box is your uh, charger. Uh, right now I have the battery charging right now. Uh, the battery that's included looks to be a LiPo battery. Um, I don't have much experience with those, but we will see what kind of power that can put out in this vehicle. Uh, as I said before, this is a 128th scale vehicle, so it's it's fairly small. You can see my hand is definitely able to wrap all the way around it. Now, for comparison's sake, I brought a few more vehicles out just to give you an idea of how big or small this vehicle is. This is the ECX Beatbox 136th scale vehicle. Uh, you know, I guess putting them side to side, giving them a side shot. You can see the size difference. Uh, 136 scale to 128. Now this next vehicle I'm going to compare it to is the HPI Micro RS4. Now this is a 118th scale um, machine. And actually, now that I say that, I might be wrong on that. It's either. I want to say it's 118th, but I, now the more I look at it, I think it might be 124th scale. Um, but again, there's a there's quite a bit of size difference even between those two vehicles. Now we're going to move the HPI out of the way and bring in the Latrax Rally. Now the Latrax Rally is 118th scale. However, I've found Traxxas's machines to be in the Latrax, which is a all intents and purposes, a Traxxas vehicle. I found those vehicles to be slightly larger than um, the scale that they advertise them to be. Uh, they almost supersize some of their vehicles, which is fine. Um, you definitely get a little more for your, for your dollar, um, but that's just a little size difference in size comparison between those vehicles. Let's take a closer look at the remote real quick. Um, like I said, it, it feels really good when you're holding onto it, uh, which is nice. I, I, to, to be honest with you, I haven't come across, in all the vehicles I've driven, I have not come across a remote that I've hated or that felt overly um, complex or, you know, too cumbersome or, you know, just uncomfortable. 
I haven't encountered that. And this, this remote feels really, really good um, holding on to it. You know, as far as what you can do with it, what kind of controls it has, um, it's, it's fairly basic. But again, for what you're paying for the vehicle, um, which at ungearbest.com, they have it priced at $44 um, and change, so really $45. Um, you know, you're getting a nice feeling remote with um, both steering trim and throttle trim uh, controls. So you can fine tune it. All right, this is your steering, obviously. Antenna folds up and down, and then your power. It does take um, battery tray open uh, four AA batteries to power the transmitter. There we are. So that's a real quick overview of the uh, transmitter for the WL toys. Uh, hold on one moment. K989. Uh, again, that 128th scale rally car. So um, we've got the battery charging, like I said before. Um, still charging. The uh, instruction manual, which again, I also neglected to say came in the box. Um, it's not the most helpful piece of reading I've ever encountered. So, um, that said, the manual states that the battery should not take more than an hour and a half to charge. I think I'm sitting close to an hour and a half right now, maybe going on two hours uh, from when I plugged it in. So, we'll see. Mileage may vary on that. Uh, but I'm, I am anxious to get this out, uh, get the battery in it, and test it out. So, we will have more uh, run videos and things like that to show you down the road. Now, if you're not a rally car fan, there are other body configurations and, and, and vehicle types that you can get in this same size package, the same 128th scale size package. So, you know, this is a rally car. It's definitely a patterned after Ken Block's Ford Fiesta. Uh, it's a Sonic uh, number 43 rally car. But I, on the box, they showed other configurations. There were, there were a few short course trucks. Uh, like a Baja off-road truck, a touring car. So, you know, there's no shortage of vehicle types um, that come in this 120th configuration, which is kind of cool. Um, it is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio system, electronic system, that is powering it. So, again, you could get a, a bunch of these, get your friends and go have a good time with them. Um, not have anybody have you know, worry about interference or anything like that for radio frequencies. Um, now, when I did the comparison between this vehicle and the HPI, I'm going to bring the HPI back out here because I was either initially right or, or wrong, depending how, on how you want to look at it. This is 118th scale, the HPI, um, and this again, 128th um, to HPI is 118th, and then you've got the tracks and they're 118th so there's a nice step up scale wise with these vehicles uh, but the nice thing again all of these are nice and small this one being quite small uh, quite portable and really a vehicle that I think you, you should be able to take anywhere and, and um, could take anywhere so with all that let's get the body off of here and take a look underneath as I said before, I am charging the battery right now, so that is not in place. So you can see this is where the battery would go. Uh, there's a bar that goes across with two pins. Pull those out, and you can easily take the battery out. Battery plugs in here. It does have an integrated um, ESC and receiver. That's this unit right here. On-off switch. There's your uh, brushed motor. Uh, it is four-wheel drive, shaft driven. Let's see the shaft in there. 
Uh, does have working suspension with a decent amount of play. Again, in a rally car, you're not going to be going over a lot of jumps or, or things like that, so it's more of an on-road style vehicle, a little foam bumper. Um, very yeah, substantial and almost beefy chassis plate, which is nice. Uh, I've seen some vehicles that really should have more have more strength in their body and in, in chassis, and they don't. And this is a vehicle, you know, again, not, not seeing how it runs yet, um, but it's nice to see that it's, it is well put together um, for the price and actually for the, the actual official price. I'll have to run and look that up quickly. Uh, but this vehicle is not very expensive. Um, I'm going to go out, out on a limb right now and say that it's under $50 uh, from GearBest.com. So, um, yeah, outside of that, it's it's a basic little vehicle. Uh, looks like fun. Uh, I'm hoping the battery charges very soon because I do want to take this out and is powered up for everybody so you can take a look at it and get a sense for what it uh, what it possibly could do um, we will be doing more run videos testing with this vehicle and I'll give my I guess final thoughts on it after I'm able to spend some more time with it and review it but again uh, thank you to gearbest.com for sending this review unit my way uh, for more information on this vehicle check out gearbest.com. We have a link to this product in the video description. Um, for more information on any other kind of small-scale RC vehicles, be sure to check out smallscalerc.com. And uh, be sure to subscribe, like this video, um, subscribe to our channel, uh, the RC Noob YouTube channel, and uh, we will definitely be posting more on this vehicle because I am really anxious to get this out and see what it can do. So until next time, thank you very much for watching.